Well, hopefully you can see me through there and you can see one dog who hopefully will just settle down. So this is the new, well actually it's been out a while now, but to me new, um, MLD Event Bivy. Now, as you can see, I've got it done up in such a way that the mesh is open here. So, you know, I'm not completely cocooned and shut off from the outside world. Now, what you can do, and this might be wrong, of course, because I've not actually used this before, but what you can do is you can undo the mesh and if perchance it was raining, you could do the inner app or do the waterproof system app at the same time as undoing the mesh. I'll try and bring the camera inside so you can see how the mesh is. And the mesh just hangs loose. And there is a reasonable, not much, but a reasonable amount of space in here. Not enough to sit for my head to sit up. Um, but you know, there, there is some space in here, certainly a lot more space than was in the Rab Soul Bivy or whatever it's called. So I'm going to undo this and of course you can leave the mesh undone and then of course it'll undo like that and then you can sit up like that. There is, I've done a, a sticky seam sealing job, but I did it out here yesterday, so it's not perfect. Now, of course, one disadvantage of, of this is if it rains and I've never bivvied in my life and I don't think it's something I'll be doing <laughs> that often but tonight is supposed to be dry so I might try it like this tonight the only problem is I like to watch film you know my my head is touching this and you can see this hanging down here but that's not a problem that's not going to be tickling you too much i don't think i am on a winter mat this is an x -therm mat plus i've put a, a foam mat underneath which probably would be better off outside under underneath just to uh save a little bit more height in here and obviously you could probably do a getting away you could probably do of course you could probably do with you know a thinner mat but i think this mat might just be okay it's all i've got so we'll see how it goes you could probably do with a thinner a thinner mat in here to be honest but i think this might very well be okay there does seem to be you know, plenty of foot room at the back. It just depends how, you know, the weight of the system itself, you know, presses down on anything, affects the, um, you know, the loft of what you're sleeping in. But I have to say, when I was in the, or tried to get into the RAB equivalent, uh, when I tried to get into the RAB equivalent, I felt very, very claustrophobic to the point where I couldn't stay in it more than two seconds. Because there is some height to this, it doesn't feel as claustrophobic, thankfully. So I might hopefully get away with this. 
One of the biggest bonuses of this system over the RAB is that the zip undoes, to, you know, three quarters of the way. The RAB, I don't know why they did it that way, because it wasn't, didn't save any weight. With the RAB, you could only open at the front, and that was literally it. Now, maybe I'm being a bit unfair in comparing this to the RAB, because this is obviously more, red, more designed and, and everything than the RAB, and I think RAB do other systems that are probably more akin to this. Um, I think it was the, the sole bivy that I was using, but well, when I say using, I, I sort of tried it once and then I had to send it back because I was never ever going to be able to uh, stay in it. But I, it was just like a feasibility thing as to whether it was worth getting something that I stood half a chance of staying under. And this, I think I stand half a chance of staying under it. <laughs> half of a chance. Anyway. I think I need a tea, it's two o'clock. Uh, so I think it's tea time and, and then we'll kind of see what we do from there. <laughs> okay, now again, I don't know how other people set up their bivvies. So I'm far from knowledgeable or expert on bivy setup. So, you know, this may not be how you do it. This is just how I've done it for my possible convenience. So luckily I brought along with me two Eastern uh, poles. Uh, I got them both from MLD. They both came a long time ago when I was buying taps. I tried the shorter one, but the shorter one was a bit too short. So I've used the longer one and I've put a clip here I could have used this one here, but it was a bit too fiddly. And then that goes up to a piece of bungee cord to the top here. Now to stop it from falling off or down, I carry with me a rubber, an emergency rubber band. Uh, so I need to replace the emergency rubber band <laughs> or remember to put the emergency rubber band back again. But I always in my repair kit and um, accessories kit, which I virtually never use, carry a rubber band. So I put it around there to stop the thing from falling down. And then around that, along just a general cord, it's not pulled tight or anything, it's just a peg down there at an angle, um, really just because that's about the height, you know, for this to be. So it's at an angle more for height than, than anything scientific. Now again, I don't know whether other people peg their bivvies out. I've always pegged mine out um, when I put them in the inside the tap. Uh, right or wrong. In the past I will say I've always pegged directly to the bivvy rather than using pieces of cord and hooks I don't ask me why I've done it that way this time. I've just done it that way this time. No real reason. And I usually peg out the, the back as well. But in all honesty, uh, the back probably doesn't need pegging out at all. And in fact, I don't really know why um, Ron does this system, but at the back, the loops at the front, let's go around the front again. At the front, the loops are at the bottom. So even though it's raised up, I think that's just the way the, the mat is. But at the front, they are, you know, it is kind of like ground level. But at the back, and there must be a reason for this, and Ron hasn't done this by accident, but at the back MLD, they, they put them halfway up and they put um, event as a back panel. So the ground is actually this part here, not where this is. So in all honesty, it probably doesn't even need pegging out because by pegging it out, you're in danger of, of pulling this to the ground, which I must admit is probably what I've done, 
you know, inside the tap, but out here it definitely doesn't need doing. But really, just to stop it from, you know, shifting too much, I've just put it on some bungee cords there, just, just because I felt like doing it, really. Uh, to stop it from blowing in the wind, uh, something like that. We'll kind of sort of see whether it has, you know, any real effect or not. And that's how I've got it set out. And then, as I said, inside I've put the winter uh, mat in with a pillow. I always use the pillow. And of course, you know, you, you have the mesh on it and you can do it without mesh. And the zip undoes, you know, a lot. So I will definitely be giving that a try tonight. I just got to figure out how. Okay, well, I've folded the bivvy down and it folds down reasonably well <laughs> into this stuff sack. The way that I did it, obviously there is a, a loop over it that keeps it, you know, off your face a bit. That loop can be taken out if you want to take it out. I think it's worth keeping in, but uh, I don't know what other thing could use it, but I left mine in. Uh, fold it into thirds. And then when it's in thirds, it's around about the same length as the pack. And then from that, just roll it forward and kind of then you squeeze it in the pack. And this, if from memory, was about 400 grams, um, including the sack, but not including seam sealing. So it'll be a little bit more with the, with the seam sealing done. So... That's that, and then you can see that fits down into, you know, just over two, <laughs> just over two, two and a half, maybe maybe a third hand. But again, that fits down quite small and compact. And again, thank you for watching the video on the bivvy. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification button as usual, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. We'll do a separate bivvy um, video for just the bivvy. So this is going to be a pro pro probably a short uh, video. <laughs> um, I've been seam sealing the bivvy as best as I can here. I'm not going to get it done at home. So I've been doing it here. I've been doing it on the outside seams. Uh, I've done most of them. There's still a few more to do, mainly on the zipper, I think. I've done the zipper up here. So I've done the zipper there and I've done most of the other big seams around and I've done most of the seams on the top, which you might just be able to see where I've done there. And then I've done most of the seams there, just not the one around by the zipper. So it might just be where the zipper goes. So I'm gonna try and get that finished today. It's coming up to five o'clock. So there's still another hour or another hour and a half of daylight. That sun's going to drip dip down behind this hill behind me. When it does that, it's going to get quite chilly quite quickly. And at that point, I'm definitely going to have to duck under the MLD quilt. <laughs> Name drop. MLD quilt, MLD po um, poncho over there. The old weather station. <laughs> and the MLD event uh, bivvy. So like I said, tomorrow we'll be pitching this and sleeping under this. I'm quite excited by, uh, <laughs> I think I'm quite excited by that. We will, we will have to see the forecast. It's actually quite good. There's not supposed to be any rain 
at all. I'm going to keep this. I'm going to keep the super mid pitched um, the whole time because when I do wake up Saturday morning, um, I will probably more than likely just for comfort as much as anything else just come back in here for eating breakfast. Well, mind you, I can't eat breakfast now, can I? I didn't bring my porridge, but uh, you know, for making tea and things that we'll kind of sort of play it by here. But I, I will leave this uh, set up and then just collapse it all down on Saturday. And I still haven't quite decided yet whether I'm going to pitch the poncho over this or whether to sleep out under this by itself. We'll kind of. Uh, I'll have a think about that tomorrow. Okay, well that, that's all I'm gonna say on the <laughs> on the separate Bivy video for the moment. That wasn't very much, was it? Just plans really. I'll talk more about the Bivy tomorrow once I've finished sealing it and then I can sort of like not pitch it out, but I can put it out, get the mat into it, and then we can have a proper look at it.